spread the word. Tonight, though, is uh, Joanne Wally Kilmer, the fastest rising star in Hollywood. Uh, Joanne, you've done well, haven't you, really? For uh, from because you're from round our way, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> well, well, did it all come as a surprise to you that you'd actually break into Hollywood the way that you did? Well, I don't, I don't know what you mean by break into Hollywood. I mean, there's, there's no such thing or place as Hollywood anymore. You know? I mean, I've worked there and I've worked here and I've worked in France and 
few other places. Have things changed a lot for you? Because, uh, I mean, your, your husband, Val, I mean, you get some stick in Stockpool when you're for being married to a bloke called Val. I don't know, <laughs> maybe. Has he never been there? He's never actually visited your hometown? No, no, we've been there. We've been here together. In London. But... OK, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you come back. And you'll have, to, you'll have to get up there and do a few clubs, Joanne. Maybe I will. <laughs> in our constant search for hidden talent round these aisles, Les Miserable landed in Cardiff, where a classical music fan did his best to make him laugh. Last week we left Amanda, thanks to 20th century technology, in the middle of an airfield in Memphis, Tennessee, talking to three of the film's stars. Well, all we managed to get at the time was some very fuzzy pictures and some of this. Love me tender shampoo. Good, isn't it? <laughs> Be better than Elvis in a bathroom, wouldn't it? And uh, here's what we didn't see last week. Um, I'm going to be talking to Billy Zane, Tate Donovan and Eric Stoltz because they're in a movie called Memphis Bar, which is the biggest British film this year. The only, so, the only British film. There you go, the only British film. So, Tate, did, how much preparing did you have to do for this role? Tons. No, actually, they, they put us through, uh, um, they gave us a lot to do. You know, uh, Catherine Weiler and, and David Putnam, they uh, set up a boot camp and they uh, gave us about 90 books to read. And about. We got to interview real uh, guys. You know, I, I play a co-pilot and I interviewed about five co-pilots and it was very exciting. Did you meet any of the guys that were actually in the Memphis Bell originally? Yeah, we met them all. Yes, all the ones that are alive. They were maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> they, they partied more. The guy, the original crew of the Memphis Bell, partied us under the ground. They're maniacs. They're still Which is saying a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Billy, your character in the film obviously got called up to fight. Would you go and fight if you had to? Can Can you well, relate? It? Yeah. Uh, I have a hard time protecting the uh, investments of oil companies. I think it's a, an outdated uh, source of energy. And if um, this country wants to enter the millennium with a smiling face, I think they should look to alternates. Billy, you're so political. <laughs> the Memphis Bell was named after, you know, the guy's girlfriend back home. What do you think of the English girls, Billy? Ooh, he's married, you know, he's married. <laughs> Billy's married. He's married. He can't answer Get him out of his truck. Okay. <laughs> what do I think of the English woman? Well, I fell in love with three, four, four no, three. Fourth one, I, I couldn't, you know. No, uh, they're, they're wonderful. They have a love-hate thing with the Americans. They kind of uh, love, love that, they, that, you know, we're all sort of wild and blah, blah, blah. But they also can't stand that we're, we're wild. It's, a, it's an interesting psychological thing. Do you think they're very different from American women, then? Well, you know, I noticed that they talk the slightly differently. What's the difference between a British woman and yeah. an American woman? <laughs> <laughs> I can't answer that question, Amanda. We love Amanda. London, do you? She's Look at her. She's such a pretty well, host for the word. I thought it was called the world. No, no, it's called the word. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, listen, Billy's out of here, so um, I guess that's about up it from us in Memphis. Hi, Dexter. Only one of these celebrities has a complete set of fingers and thumbs. Which one is it? Find out after the break.